Uh, Kyle, obviously, it's a, it's a big game for everyone at the club. Um, a big game as well for the supporters, I think. It is a reminder that Leeds were once a Premier League club themselves. Yeah, I think it's a little taste of you know what everyone at the club you know wants to be a weekly fixture. You know, um, but for us, it's, it's really important that we don't get carried away of ourselves. It's important that we implement our game plan and we go out there, give 110 percent, and you know really try and get a positive result. You say it's not about individuals in the team, but Leeds have become a, a tough team to play against, and, and defensively have become very good. And that's all about the unit as well, isn't it? Yeah. That's my point, you know, it's not about individuals, it's about the unit and by unit I mean the whole team, I don't just mean the back four, um, everyone's putting in a great shift and, you know, any time we've kept a clean sheet, you know, the forward players and midfielders, you know, they've worked so hard for the team and they've made our job a lot easier at the back. You are becoming, there's a real feeling that you've grown as the season's gone on, How, do you feel there's an awful lot more to come from this side? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think the manager stress when he first came in that it will take a little bit of time, and you know, I think we have we have came on you know leaps and bounds, but I think there is a lot more to come. You know, such a young team, um, and I don't think the manager's put across everything he wants to do so far. But you know, I think fifth position in the league, quarter final in the cup, you know, it's going well. You mentioned who may or may not be playing tomorrow. How difficult is it? Because I guess in a league game, you've got a good idea who you're going to be coming up against. How hard is it when you genuinely probably don't know who is going to play against you tomorrow? Um, for me, you know, it's it's not too difficult. You know, you find out a couple of hours before or an hour before, and you know, you do a little bit of homework. The lads, you know, have got their iPads, and you do a little bit of a study before the match. But you know. Liverpool away, whoever you come up against, you know, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be tough. But for us, we focus on ourselves, you know, we do what we're good at and you know, hopefully it'll work out in the end. You are one of the few with top flight experience, it's quite a young side uh, at Ellen Road. Are you going to be having a word with any, any of the young guys before the game tomorrow night? Um, to be honest with you, I just do what I normally do, you know, I normally try and speak to the boys, you know, I normally try and use my experience to help the team out. but. You know, it's a great bunch of lads. You know, I don't think anyone would be too worried about the match. They'll just go out there, and you know, I think it's the beauty of you, uh, the beauty of youth that they'll just try and enjoy it and try and express themselves. A lot of people were delighted, obviously, when you, you chose to come to Leeds. Was it a risk stepping out of the Championship? Um, yes and no. At the same time, you know, I wanted to play games and. When the opportunity to work under the manager came up again, you know it was something that I was really excited about, and obviously being such a fantastic club, it was another a big plus for me. And you know it's worked out really well so far. I've played a lot of games, and you know the club's doing well. And last one, um, will you be excited, nervous, come kick off tomorrow night? Um, probably a little bit of both. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm quite strange. I'm, I'm normally get nervous with the smaller games and the bigger games. I'm I'm normally more excited, and I look forward to it. But, you know, we have to stress, it's just another game, so no matter if you're nervous or excited, once you get out there, you know, you just focus on your job and, you know, trying to get a